Okay, I'm going to start my experiment today with cleaning ties. You see this tie here has stains all on the back side. Obviously you couldn't see it from the front, but I wouldn't want to sell this with a stain on it. This particular one is part silk and part polyester. And this is a Halston. So I've got my sink and I've got OxyClean liquid in it. This right here, OxyClean. So here's my experiment. I'm going to soak it gently in here. I'm not going to go nuts with it and scrub it all up. I'm just going to soak it and you leave it in for an hour or so and then come back. So I'm fixing to try and we'll see what happens. So since the whole tie wasn't dirty, just the tips, I've just got them in there and I just put my hand and just rubbed it over like this and now I'm just letting it kind of soak because this was the part that was really kind of grubby. I'm not really sure what they, how they got that dirty on the underside like that. but So we're just going to let this soak a while and we'll see what happens. And I believe it'll clean and I believe it'll be no problem, but we'll try and see. Now this next tie you can see has the same kind of issue. It's really dirty right in here and right in here it's kind of yellowed. And even the name sticker is really grubby, like it's been sweated on or something. This particular tie, notice, has a snag up here, so I might not sell it, but I want to test it anyway. It's very heavy. It's doubly lined, and it also has this, this kind of a liner in here. But since the only part that's really dirty is this, I might can do the same thing as I did with the Halston and just stick the tips in there. The outside, the front, looks fine. But nobody really wants, you know, if I was a man, I wouldn't really want this either. I wouldn't buy something that looked like this. So we'll experiment on this one next. And it is really thick. It feels like it could be silk, silk but it is totally lined and like a rayon kind of material. So we're going to test this one out next. The last tie I'm going to play around with is an Allen St. George American Couture tie. It is 100% silk, but it has all kinds of tears. Looks like there was a tag and somebody tore something off and it's coming apart here. So I'm gonna play with this and I don't really care. I know I'm not gonna sell it because it's in not good condition, but I'm gonna test how it washes all the way, the whole thing. Uh, if you gently hand wash, gently rinse, hang out and press, I'm gonna see if you can do it and what condition it's in afterwards. So this is my final test, and we'll see the results later. Bye. Okay, well I've soaked them now in, in rinse water, and I'm not gonna wring this. I have kind of folded it up in a packet, and I'm just gonna press the water out of it. Just press it so that it doesn't really wrinkle a lot. And then I'm going to use plain old hanger. I'm going to hang it, fold them over that like you would see in a store so they're hanging and I'm going to hang them up and let them dry. And then we'll see how much pressing they need. And that's all for now. Well, as you can see, my tie has dried and it didn't do bad. This is the one that I folded and just squeezed the uh, water out of it, but it didn't do bad at all. It, this is the one that's all messed up. So what I'm going to do, I've got my iron set on silk, and I'm going to use a linen kitchen towel as a pressing cloth so that I don't get this directly on this. I have to move this. I may have to turn it up a little bit because I do have that cloth in there. This one is silk. This particular tie was 100% silk. This is just definitely not. So I am going to try, since I have it on silk, I'm going to put it directly on it and see what happens. Like I say, this is an experiment, so I could try several things and see what happens.
it is not taking the wrinkles out when it's dry iron. Now whether I can sprinkle it, and it might. So I might try that. I don't want to steam it. I don't know what steam would do to it. Nope, it doesn't like that. Okay, so I decided to try it with the steam. So I put some water in my steam iron. I left it on silk, and I'm putting it directly on here. And I did mist it a little bit beforehand just to see if that would work. And this particular one really mists well, so I just kind of rub my hand over it like that. And I just put, I, you don't want to just leave it on there, so you have to kind of move it around. But this one spot here has a big wrinkle, so I wanted to see if I could get it out. That's from um, when I washed it and then folded it to get the water out. And it seems to be doing pretty well. So it is possible to do this. This is a 100% silk, silk tie. And there, are, there are, there is, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bit of a wrinkle here. But you would have to be really close to see it. So it does take the, the wrinkles out if you, you and you can use steam. It's not hurting this material at all. I have it on silk with steam and it is ironing it back out to a nice straight thing. The other thing we were looking at was with that OxyClean clean these ties. This one, which is 15% silk, and the rest is polyester. 85% polyester, 15% silk, clean beautifully. That OxyClean just took the dirt right off of that, so it did beautifully. And just dipping the end and just cleaning the end is hardly any wrinkles or anything, so that one's gonna be a no issue. You can definitely clean a, a spot clean it without a problem. This one, which is some kind of a heavy mixture, I'm not really sure what it is because that part of it is, is not here, but it's very thick. This is the one that's totally lined. It did not clean well. And you see it's still stained. I mean, you can wear it, it's no big deal. The, the tag cleaned better than that. So I would say this certain materials don't clean well at all. I, I don't know what this is, but it's very thick and very, it's lined. And this lining, whatever this lining is, did not clean well at all. So my experiment, it does work. There's, there's no wrinkle there. It's they're very nice. And this is easy. This end is very easy just to press and go because there's no, uh, that was the only end that got even washed. So it's not, I mean, it didn't even look wrinkled. So that was a good experiment. It does work. You can wash them by hand. You can iron them. Uh, the OxyClean did work very well on silk and polyester, but whatever this lining is, it does not work well on. So there we go. Our experiment did work.